a wheat field, dummy. Mm-hmm. Well, you think it is? Well, it's a big one, too. It's almost ready to combine. I said that was the town of Cory, where we used to live when I was in, the, I guess, the fifth and sixth and seventh grade. We lived about three miles south on a dirt road, and the farmer right down the next door to us killed a couple of wolves while we lived there. He used to scare us by uh, Allen every night. Yeah, it's just road right up here to the left. I think, yeah. Back in that about a 10 acre hickory root woods, and we lived there when uh, I got out of the army. That's where Bill was born, we lived there. And Dad and I had to put in the uh, telephone poles in between the electric poles in order to get a telephone back there. So we cut them out of the woods, 14 foot hickory uh, poles, and dug them and pulled them, put them in ourselves. Uh, you can't see it now, it's all going to have a tree, but we camp up on mixed uh, horses when we were back there, too. Or about a year, I guess. We butchered. We, we raised pigs when we were back there. We had our own pigs. That was really something, though. We didn't have any inside plumbing. We had a little old pot belly stove in the wintertime, you know. 30, what, three years ago? <laughs> There's Oak Hill where Grandpa Mosin was buried. This is where Truett's used to live, in the old house. Can you tell me about this? Well, I get onto this road, man. People come around here about 85 miles an hour. What do you mean, tell you about it? This is the Moseman residence. <laughs> what do you want? This used to be the state highway. This lane it used to go right by their front door. Like a sharp turn, now they've got it. I see they've taken the fence down. What to say about it? Huh? Beautiful place. Bob's old car is still sitting there. I think Lynn might be there. Finally made it.